you've tracked mud all over the carpet. Now that right there is a mess. I just had it clean yesterday, Carl. I'm not responsible for this. I've been jamming on the saxophone all morning. They're clearly your hoof prints, Carl. Then there is an imposter on the loose. They lead directly to you. Clue number one. The imposter is a phantom. Carl, stop avoiding- <laughs> Happy birthday! It's not... Please tell me you had nothing to do with this. Why don't you blow out your candle? You've gone too far this time, Carl. What's that? It's hard to hear you over the sound of Melting City. How did you even do this? A dollop of fairy dust. Carl. I ripped the tag off a mattress. This isn't funny, Carl. Who's laughing? Clearly not all the people who just exploded. I'm leaving. I've had enough of this. But think of all the perfectly roasted faces we get to munch on now. But why? Because we're friends, and friendship is two pals munching on a well-cooked face together. That isn't friendship, Carl. That's sick. Well, then you're probably not going to like your birthday decorations. <laughs> it's not even my... Oh, my God. Surprise! Oh, oh no. Oh. I'm sorry. I thought you liked faces. Obviously, there's a miscommunication. This is awful, Carl. You're right. It's not nearly as tasteful as I pictured it in my head. I think I'm going to throw... Oh, God, one touched me. This was clearly the wrong way to go. You think, Carl? What can I say? I expected them to be cooked more. Raw face is just gross. But that isn't the problem, Carl. Why would you think any of this was a good idea? Probably because I'm a dangerous sociopath with a long history of violence. Oh. I don't understand how you keep forgetting that.